Hey everyone, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, in front of me here, I have a '75 Honda CB400F, and um, basically, I just want to go over some of the work that I've done to it, um, but mainly discuss uh, what it's jetted at. And I will have a test drive video that will uh, follow my little spiel here. Uh, so basically. Um, First off, it had some oil leaks, uh, the head gasket and valve cover were leaking, so I replaced all the top end gaskets, including the uh, cylinder base gasket, um, checked the valve clearance, uh, since all that was apart, um, completely rebuilt the carbs, they were, they were a bit dirty, and um, it had some rust residue in there and some white deposits, so I, I dipped what I can and and soda blasted uh, other parts, which, which is pretty nice and I also have a video on that as well of just making a quick DIY soda blaster at home um, that can get you by if you don't do a lot of carbs um, what else it's equipped with Dyna S ignition and 3 ohm coils uh, so the timing is spot on um, just put new plug wires on it new plugs um, opened up the plug gap from 025 028 which is stock to 035 uh, since the ignition is a little hotter. Um, the cam chain is well adjusted. It has good compression, 140 psi in all uh, uh, four cylinders. Um, let's see what else. Uh, it has air pods, or uh, k filter pods, and a Kirker, uh, which looks to be like a full exhaust. Um, so basically, uh, stock jetting is... Uh, 75 main jet, 40 slow jet, third uh, groove on the needle, air screw is two turns out plus or minus half, and the float height is 21 millimeters. Um, I received this bike, aside from stock, it had 72 mains, fourth groove on the needle, which makes it, which lifts the needle and makes it a little richer, and the pilot was two and a half out. Um, there was an air leak in the carbs that the top cover was uh, not sealing correctly and, and it caused a vacuum leak so um, that was another thing that that I repaired um, but basically after doing some searching on the web and um, you know after messing around with this thing um, it looks like the the pilot jets need to be reduced down to 38s and I bumped the main jets up to 80s so um, I left the needle at fourth uh, from the top uh, due to the, you know, the mods that this thing has. It'll it'll need a little bit more fuel. So um, the weird thing is the the jet the main jets stop at 80 and jump all the way to 98. There's no in between, no 85, no 90. Um, there is one company that makes a nice little kit with 75s, 80s, 85s, 90s, and I believe 95s. I'm not sure, but uh, the kit's like 45 bucks or so, and it's it's up in Canada. So by the time it gets down here, it'll be $75 for that kit. And and from what I've read, the 80s should do good. And I'm also going to do a plug chop on this, so we'll see what it comes out to. Um, but as received, the bike was sputtering pretty bad, but now it pulls pretty good. And you'll see in the video that that it uh, you know it goes pretty good. Um, so uh, let's let's fire it up, and uh, you can see how it sounds. Oh, and by the way, I did sync the carbs as well, and uh, so this thing's pretty much all tuned up. Set the wide open throttle stop on the carbs, and also the choke fast idle uh, little adjustment thing. So, let's fire it up.
so it's running pretty good. Um, I didn't do any how-to videos on the head gasket or the valve check or the timing check. I Last year I had um, a 78 or so uh, CD 550 in here and I got videos on all that and it's very similar as far as how the engine uh, is constructed and whatnot. So I still have those videos uh, on my computer. I need to edit them and post them and upload them and whatnot. So that's why you won't see any of those videos on this bike. But uh, like I said, the 550 is, is pretty darn close to this thing. So let's, uh, let's go take it for a test spin. Thank mm -hmm. you. 